so today we're going to be replacing that guy because the clips are all like missing the female piece that they connect to or, or broken like that guy it just like literally pops right out for me um i don't know where the clips went it was like that before i got it but wow this one's not even fucking on all the way anyway there's supposed to be like three clips like this that hold it in place on both sides um is that one, is that one bracket bent I don't know, maybe it's just my perspective at this angle. That one's missing one, too. What the hell? Wow. Classy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pop off these guys. And then I'm going to be replacing them with this guy. It's got more of a sheen than I like. But it's going to be nice. So It's kind of a cheap plastic, to be honest. Like This stuff's a much more durable feeling. And this stuff, like that, I actually had to put that on. You basically get screws that you put in the little slots and it kind of pinches the mesh all across. Um, but I'm going to be adding some Hawkeye style, I guess they're called Hawkeye LEDs right there, but they're a little too small for the holes, so I have to get like little washers, which I'm going to do sometime later today. Um, my primary focus is just swapping these guys out first and um, doing a couple other things. Uh, apparently, there's no clips on the bumper either. Well, that's wonderful. Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. Clips is they're really easy to take off. So I love these clips. Um, of all the clips that you know you can get in your car, these are my favorites. So you just go up and then pop up. That's all you do. You just get in between this little spot right here and pop up. And then you can literally just well, let me put the knife down so I don't actually cut myself. Just pry it out. There you go. And then of course the other piece. Is right there. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, and then when you go to put it back in, you just kind of put it back in like that. Easy as that. Um, and then you put this piece in. So it's got like these ridges right there. Where is it? Come on, focus. It's got these ridges right there that will go into the slots. See, kind of like a flathead design or an X or whatever you want to relate that to. So yeah, just uh, gonna do all that uh, to all six of them. And then um, this one only has two clips because it's only on the top, which is kind of strange, but I guess that's gonna hold it in place. We'll see how it goes. Once you get these guys all unclipped, apparently there was another clip under there, uh, but when, when you get these guys off, wow, that's a cold breeze. Whew, uh, you basically just pull it this way towards yourself uh, because it's got this little spot right there where this little clip, right there in the middle, or like a little connection, um, right here, just kind of slides right in there. So, um, and it holds onto that clip too. So, uh, yeah, that's how you get these guys off. Uh, that's Plasti Dip from the previous owner, if you didn't already know, if you haven't been following my channel. Uh, yeah, look at that, oof, oof, nasty. I'm gonna have to clean the hell out of this when I do, like a full sand and everything. But for now, this is what I got, so. Just as a, you know, comparison. Hey, look. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so that goes there. And that goes there. Kind of trying to make shift it work. You know, hold on a second. So here's comparison of the two. Um, I do like the map ba look better when it's clean, but because this is like a fingerprint magnet. Uh, but I do like the design of this much better. Um, I just don't like that it's one piece, I guess. I thought it was going to be two pieces, or like three pieces, kind of like this one, uh, where it just kind of separates. But, you know what? That's okay. Uh, we'll see how it looks, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Because um, once I get those LEDs in, whoo, it's going to be perfect. So, yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. I think it's just uh, the top two clips that hold this whole thing together. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, the only downside is no emblem, which kind of sucks. But I can always just add one later. So, yeah, just like one of those clip-in ones or whatever. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right there where we pulled these pieces out, uh, I guess, you know, I'll just try and pull this off. Ugh, come out. Okay. So, this guy, uh, I got to pull the whole thing off. Okay, hold on. Ah, okay. So, this guy right here slides into the bottom right here. You know that little slot uh so i didn't know that at first um but now i know 
and that's pretty much what holds it in place on the bottom. So do that on both sides. When you go to put these close back in place, um, these guys, so what I do is I kind of pull the main piece out so it kind of looks like that. Um, and then you can kind of squeeze the sides because that makes them more flexible. And then you can put them in the their little mounting point. Oh no, I didn't show. Anyway, you can just, I'll just do it again. I mean, if you don't know how to do clips, it's not a big deal. You know? Oh crap, well I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> um, so essentially you just, uh, okay, here we go. Push it, you can get your finger in there, kind of push it around, and then push in place. Done, easy as hell. Um, and then you just put these guys back in their slots, make sure that the little cross sections meet, and then get out of the sun. Push in place, simple as that. So I made sure that the hood latch is not gonna, or like the release pin or whatever you wanna call it, is not gonna mess with it. Um, it's not gonna get in the way. Um, and then you got your grill right there. So now I'm gonna drop the hood just to see what it looks like, cause I still got other stuff I gotta do under the hood, like the coil packs and spark plugs. Um, and I also wanna put like a fitting right there for the blow off valve. Um, like a, not a fitting, but like a, a clamp. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, let's see how this looks. Pull this down. Of course, I got a screwdriver in there, so it's gonna stop it from closing all the way. But, ooh, I'm digging it. I like it a lot. Um, one thing to note, it will push out a little bit on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. I think it's just because there's no like secure mounting point on the bottom. It's gonna have a little bit of wiggle. I mean, it's only like, you know, a cheap eBay one. Um, because I, you know, don't have the money for a carbon fiber one. Oh shit! It's not gonna. Oh, that's exciting. Apparently, the bottom hole is gonna be completely blocked off by something, by the bumper. Well, that's good to know. So I might have to actually modify the bumper a little bit just to get it to fit. I'm gonna be ripping that bitch off too, cause I got a new one in the mail the other day a new a new uh, lip but my main concern is it's blocked off down there which kind of sucks um i'm gonna have to look into how i'm gonna get that fixed because i really want those to be used for lights because that i think that'd be really cool um damn oh well anyway that's what it looks like from a distance i just think that the holes being empty like that kind of looks dumb um, so I'm gonna fill them up. It seems uneven. Probably because the bumper's uneven, to be honest. Um, I think it's been an accident, like, on the right side, it's, like, look over here. Relatively closed together. Um, and then over here, it's, like, got a band-aid in there. Can't really tell too well because the sun, but, yeah, band-aid. That, that was on there before I got it. And then, um, you know, it's got that space. I got those guys on, but... Yeah, I don't know. Look at those wheels! Oh my God, they're so funny. Ah, so, so huge. Sorry. Um. So yeah, I might want to clean this guy up too because that's my turn signal and you can't even see it really. There's a lot of stuff I gotta do this car cosmetically. Um. I'm gonna try and fix the side skirts as well, but that's where we're at right now. So now I'm gonna be taking off this guy because I got the silica all done uh, and replacing it with this much more aggressive looking lip. Um, so there's polyurethane. You can see it's kind of rough. It's going to need paint, but I'm not too worried about that right now because the whole car needs paint. So, um, plus that guy looks like really in need of matching the paint. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty dissatisfied with the fact that you can't really tell, but the closer you look, like with the lighting on it, it's got all these scratches on it from the fucking factory, which kind of sucks because... That means I'm gonna have to paint that too, and plastic's a little bit, like this plastic is gonna be a little bit more difficult to paint, just cause it's so thin. Um, and it's gonna have to be drilled right there to make room for these guys. So, um, gonna throw three on each side, make it look aggressive. They're like a light blue. I haven't even tested the lighting yet, so I gotta test that first. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, get that guy on there. Yeah, and then I'll probably roll the fenders after that. Um, busy day. Got this ugly thing taken off. It was so warped and bad, like, 
it was just, it was bad. It was pretty terrible. Um, I don't even, yeah, you can kind of tell, but it's like also cracked right here. So it's time for a new one anyway, because it's just not good. Uh, I also took off the canards, canards, whatever you want to call them. Um, so now I just got to test it. I'm hoping it doesn't rub up on that wheel when I lower it more after I roll the fenders. We'll see. Um, I just still got to test it and see if everything's going to fit up. I might have to take off the actual bumper just to get to, you know, mock fit and everything. But we'll see how that goes. So I've got it mocked up just to test it out. Um, it just slides right on and you can just, it holds itself in place, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only downside is, or don't, downsides I have so far is spots where it doesn't 100% meet up. Like right in here, it's kind of got that gap you can see. So I'm probably going to file in around here or around this corner uh, just so that it can actually mount up. Um, also, around right this corner as well, uh, this side, the back mounts up just fine, right there, there we go, back mounts up just fine, uh, but on the other side, it's kind of got a bump out, so it's like kind of fitting, I could probably make it work, um, but looks like that's not one piece right there, like that was glued on or something, I don't know kind of weird um i could probably take a heat gun and bend it but then it's not going to be flush that's kind of what i'm going for um maybe if i go like that no, i don't know um also another thing i don't really understand is how it's supposed to mount up uh no instructions so yeah i don't know how it's supposed to stay in place is it supposed to have screws in here on each side and down along this way um, is it supposed to because the bottom doesn't match up like at all like, I'll show you what I mean like the bottom so like right there it kind of has a gap right in there um, so that's where that side kind of hugs over it like this side kind of doesn't 100% like there's a gap a little bit which isn't a big deal um, if I need to cut this, I can. I don't want to, but I can just to make it look nice. Um, and then here, it doesn't 100% go to the end either. It's not like 100% flush, which is fine. You know, it's eBay, what do you expect? But no, I'm not ashamed of eBay parts, honestly. Like, I've gotten a lot of good stuff from them. Um, but that's besides the point. So, anyway, uh, my other concern is. I can actually pull on it. Um, see, there's like nowhere for it to mount up. So, how does this hang on? Like, how does it, how does it mount up? I don't get it. Uh, is it just the back? I don't know. We have to figure that out. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Just trying to see how I'm gonna mount this bitch. Cause like, as it stands right now, I don't really get it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, just, I'll do some research, see if I can figure anything out. Because otherwise, I have no fucking idea how this works. I just put that on there, so... It's not necessary, but I just put it on there just so that it would help. But, we'll see. I'm just gonna keep on fiddling with it and getting it to work out and everything. So, yeah. As I mentioned, that's new. Cool. Thirty-five dollars. You boo. Actually, it was Amazon, but matches the coilovers at least. So there's that. That's cool. Pretty nice.